Here's the lean protection module. I have it hooked up to the laptop with a USB cable. I had to make the font ridiculously huge for the camera as it would not focus on the smaller text. But this is basically the interface you get. As you can see on number one, our air fuel trip point is set to 12.3. So I'm not going to go into all the details of this right now, but I just selected one just to show you real quick. So we're going to select one because we want to change our air fuel. It tells you valid ranges are 10 to 14. We'll go ahead and set it to 11. 0.4, meaning we don't want the air fuel to go any leaner than 11.4, and if it does, the unit needs to activate. Hit enter, and it saves it, and see our new setting. And those are saved permanently. If power is removed and restored, those settings are still there. Our test vehicle for today, an 03 Cobra with a 2.9 Whipple on top, full return fuel system, and uh, stock factory headers with a 3.5 inch pulley on top, we're seeing about 20 pounds of boost according to the speed hut gauges and we're running on 91 pump gas with water meth injection coming in right here right next to the nitrous although we'll not be spraying nitrous for today's testing here we have the unit in the passenger's kick panel floor area for easy access for demonstration easy to install and remove with the unpluggable harnesses we'll go ahead and turn the key on and send power to the unit powers up and you notice the LED is blinking rather than sitting on steady and solid. That's the 30 second delay period while the unit initializes and allows your wideband to fully initialize and not send false readings and in erroneously shut you down for thinking that you have a lean condition that doesn't exist. Okay here we have the key on and the engine off. You can see the wideband is at maximum lean condition with the engine off. The remote LED is installed in the AC vent gauge for a cleaner look. And here we have the unit. We're going to adjust it for what our TPS sensor is. So you press and hold the button for approximately two seconds. The LED begins to blink, telling you it's in learn mode. Depress the gas pedal to the floor. And there we go. It confirms with a rapid blink that it learned what TPS is. And here we go. We activated the unit because we're currently lean and we went wide open throttle. Your immediate reaction is to let off the gas pedal. The system is still activated. You're still would have the engine cut. You lightly depress back on the gas pedal and the unit turns off and your engine would be running again. So just to simulate, because right now we have a lean condition, we're going to go wide open throttle, the unit activates, you let off the throttle, it'll stay activated because your immediate reaction would be to let off the throttle. At this point you realize what's happened, you depress back on the gas pedal, unit shuts down, engine comes back on, you can keep driving. Okay, here we're going to make a normal pull to show all systems normal. Now we're going to turn off the water methanol injection, causing the system to run lean and repeat the pull and show what happens. Okay, we're going to try and make another pull now with the water meth disabled, so we're going to go lean. There it is, it's cut us out. You press back into the gas pedal, comes back to life, and I keep driving with no problems. Again, I'll attempt a wide open throttle pull. It shut me down. Foot off the gas, I'm still disabled. Press back on the gas pedal, and there we go. Engine comes back to life, and you can drive normally. Okay, we have the water meth turned back on. System's back to normal. For our next test, we're going to go ahead and reach back behind here in these panels, and we're going to unplug one of the two fuel pumps so the system is only running on a single fuel pump. For this test, we've disabled one of the two fuel pumps, so the car is only running on a single pump, and uh, we're going to see what happens when we demand a lot of fuel. Here we go, shut us down. 